All right, we're going to add our very first row or item, if you will. The, the inventor of the X grid actually considers each subsequent row that you add to be called an item. We can refer to them interchangeably. Just know if I say row or if I say item, it's almost the same thing. There could be multiple columns, whatever. It's a row, it's an item, same thing. So Alt F11, let's go ahead and create another macro. So let's hit enter a couple times and do sub spacebar. This macro I'm going to call add row and hit enter. And the code for that is going to be very similar. We're going to take sheet one because sheet one is where the dot grid one lives. So I'm going to hit dot instead of tab. Instead of spacebar, I'm going to hit dot to autocomplete just to show you that you can do that. So grid one dot. And this time I'm going to say the items. So items, remember that means rows. Rows are items, items are rows. So the grid one from sheet one dot items. This time dot add item method. So the add item method creates a new row or new item, if you will. So if I hit spacebar, the only parameter for that one is we need to give a value. So whether a string or a number or whatever we're adding to that particular row, this is going to be in the very first column of that new row, that new item. So in this case, we're going to put the name Daniel. I want you to put your name. Just make sure you put quotation marks around it because this is a string of text that we're doing the first time. And you'll notice the add item method creates something that is an H item. We'll dig in more to what the H item, which is a long integer, it's a big number, that represents that row or that item's number, that internal ID for that row. So we can pinpoint it, we can read, we can write to it. Anyway, we'll dig into that a little bit later. Let's try this line really quick. You can either hit F5 or just run it. I like to hit F8 to step through. So here we go. If you look to the left, we're going to add our first row, our first item, to the column that we already made called name. So F8 and F8 to complete the macro. So now we have the column here. The row you can click on. You can select it, but you can't select anything else because there's no other items. There's no other rows in our grid here. You can even attempt to sort it. Notice I'm sorting ascending and descending, but guess what? There's only one item, so nothing's really moving around. We'll be adding more data in just a second. In the next lecture, we're going to show you how to add multiple columns so um, and talk a little bit about the subtleties therein. So we'll see you in the next lecture.